You are listening to Women Up Radio. Good afternoon and welcome to Women Up Radio. We're very lucky today to have Monique Bloxill with us. She's an award-winning international speaker, a business growth mentor and an author. She also has a wonderful podcast. And the topic we're going to be speaking about, obviously, is public speaking because she's such an expert and all about using your voice for business and career growth. So welcome to the show, Monique. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. It's always wonderful to play with you, Anna, and to inspire amazing women together. (laughs) Thank you. So just to start off with, you're an experienced international public speaker. Um, You've won awards. You've shared the stage with top entrepreneurs, with political leaders. How did you start and how did you feel when you started? Because it's quite awe-inspiring to get up on that stage. Yeah, I know. And you might have heard, Anna, about the research they did where they asked, what are people most afraid of? And, uh, you know, surprisingly, it came up actually even before people being afraid of dying or somewhere close, right? So I know speaking is not necessarily what a lot of people are aiming for. In fact, a lot of people that come to me are either entrepreneurs or business leaders that really want to advance either their career yeah. or mostly their business. And they say, Monique, speaking has never really been something I wanted to do because, in fact, when I was speaking up in school or, you know, even in career, it was scary for me. And uh, But now they say, well, I know I need to go out there more. I know I need to use the power of my voice to advance my career or grow my business. And that is when they, they start seeing the need and then the tickets them inside. But you asked me, how did I get going? Yeah. Uh, so... Um, I feel I probably always had it inside of me. I always love to speak in some way. (laughs) But uh, interesting enough, I was, you know, I mean, I was a Toastmaster. And I don't know if you know Toastmasters, but all of you uh, that are watching this, um, Toastmasters is a great place where you can practice public speaking. The interesting thing is before I even joined Toastmasters, I was already a paid speaker. And it was just that I was in a job in a corporate world before I built my own business. And, uh, you know, I I was just invited to speak. I was at a time I was a pricing expert and I was invited by one of the leading, um, uh, you know, pricing consultancy companies. And then, uh, you know, one of the leading training companies here in Germany. And they asked me, wouldn't you want to give workshops on your expertise on how to you know, I think my first paid workshops were like on pricing monitoring. And then I was started to speak at conferences and, you know, and it was quite like technical speaking because it was yes. on, a, on an expertise that I held. And mm-hmm. to be honest, you know, when we are speakers like that, they don't even care about us personally. They care about the title we have because often we in this position, we represent like a big company. Yes. Right. And then they hired expert of that, of that big companies. Right. And, and so this is how I started. But I have to say that really crafting my speaking skills, I joined Toastmasters because it's one of the best speaking trainings in the world where you can, you know, in the security and safety of a small club, start speaking. Yes. And I have to say, and you know, and you get a lot of feedback and you feel encouraged and I want prices this way. And, you know, that is encouraging as well. And then I really started my own business because I realized how much... You know, um, even within Toastmasters, it wasn't only serving me. I was also then not only crafting my speaking skills, I was also training my leadership skills. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I held, you know, leadership positions within Toastmasters. And I, you know, up to like I was a club president and I was an area governor, right, taking care of other clubs. And I realized when people start speaking, magic happens. Yeah. Because honestly, if you can stand on a stage and speak from your heart about what you believe in, yes. you can do anything. Yeah. I saw people, how it boosted their confidence, how it how they really stepped up with their career. Yeah. And because, again, when we start speaking up, when we, when we lose that fear of expressing what we have to say, yeah. we start showing up, we start speaking up, people start seeing us differently. Yes. They start treating us differently. It's a massive career booster and it's a massive business growth tool so when I started my business I knew 
because I was in love with speaking. I've seen what it did to me and I've seen what it did to others. And speaking is so inspiring. And I started to use speaking to really, you know, grow my business. And I have to say that I started really pretty much early on with me building my business. I said, I want to speak at more prestigious stages. I want to speak to bigger audiences and I want to take other people along the way because yeah. I've seen people and businesses flourish. And within actually two years of me building my business, I spoke at quite a few countries. So I think overall I've spoken in around 25 countries all over the world, really? all over yeah. Europe and the US and Asia, Middle East, Africa. And, uh, you, and I spoke to audience as small as five people up to three and a half thousand. Yes. And, you know, I spoke at a European Parliament building and then United Nations building in New York. And, you know, I mean, at, at amazing places. But what it really did is it helped me boost my reputation. Yes. It got me visible and it helped me to grow and double my income year after year after year for yeah. quite a few years when I started my business. Yeah. Speaking is magic, Anna. That's, but, that's how I feel it. I mean, I, well, I like speaking, you know, obviously I wouldn't have a, a podcast if I didn't like speaking, <laughs> but <laughs> I think it makes a huge difference. And because I've been teaching and training groups of people for years now, I haven't really worried about it. And I used to run events and things like that years and years ago. So I haven't found it that difficult. I wouldn't say I have a good technique by any means because I have no idea. Um, but I think that if people can overcome their nerves and they can start speaking, it can change everything, whether it's just themselves, whether it's their position in the company, whether it's helping the company they work for. You know, it just opens so many doors. One of the things that I've found interesting particularly watching other people speak as well is if we want to speak powerfully and movingly but we still want to show the real person behind the, behind the speech how can we develop our persona and our presence so that we can do that but we're still us so we're not a complete actor we still got you know the the real person that's coming out there as well as whatever it is that we're talking about I love it and it's such a beautiful question and so many people are asking it Anna um, so and you said that you don't have a specific like technique or skill or something well it's maybe just natural right but to answer your question um, here's the good news speaking powerfully means you speak authentically being you for me, it goes hand in hand. I've seen so many speakers trying to be someone else. Yeah. Like, you know, but every speaker has a style. I mean, a Tony Robbins has a different style on stage than you know, someone that might be more introvert or quiet. Yeah. But I've also seen speakers that are more introvert and quiet. Yeah. Where people hang on their lips. Yes. Where people want to hear every word they have to say because they know when they say something they have something profound to say that really touches people's heart and makes an impact because they apply what these speakers are speaking about. So the good news is it's all about being authentic. Yeah. And I know everyone is saying, yeah, I hear that all the time. What does it mean being authentic as a speaker? So first of all, don't pretend to be someone else. Don't pretend to be rah-rah if you're rather someone that is just sharing your ideas yeah. in a more quiet way. OK, or if you are someone like me, I'm very expressive on stage. Right. And uh, I, I love to engage the audience. I love to build, bring a little bit of a firework. Right. But that is me. But I'm not trying to dim it down just because either the audience expects something else or, you know, I feel that as speakers, we need to be the right match to the right audience. Yeah. And we need to be the right match for the right topic. And we need to deliver it in, in, in a style that is our own authentic style. Yeah. That is when we can become pow uh, powerful. And that is when people see that we are authentic. So there's people that are very funny. And then there's speakers that are very entertaining. And then there's speakers that are very serious. Yeah. Okay, whoever you are, be who you are. 
it doesn't mean that when you are serious, you're just always serious. You can actually learn, you know, techniques on how to become a little more humorous, right? Yeah. Of course, weave in a little more humor and, and weave different elements in. But in the core, be who you are authentically. And also another mistake a lot of people make is uh, that I see, and as often, you know, speakers that are starting out, they try to pick up something of what other people do or say. Yeah. They use the same quotes, they use the same stories, they use the same techniques and methods and tools that everyone else is using. Don't do that. You know, a good friend of mine, also a public speaking world championship winner of Toastmasters, he said, when it don't craft a speech, craft a process and make that a speech. Yeah. So, you know, especially I work a lot with business owners, Anna, right? And, you know, business owners, I mean, no matter if it's coaches or speakers or trainers, we all have developed a certain methodology to get people from where they are to where they want to be. Yes. No matter if you're helping them with their health or with their business or with their self-confidence or in any other way, we, as we work with our clients, find out new juicy ways of how to get our clients in the fastest way from where they are to where they want to be. Yeah. So if you want to be a speaker, don't just copy what other people are saying just because you feel it's cool or because they seem to be more paid than you are right now. Take what you've learned and yes. bring that to the stage. Yeah. Again, that's not a way of being authentic. I always say being authentic is the style how you deliver. It's also the content you deliver yeah. and everything else. Yes. So, you know, so that would be, you know, my answer to your question. But again, yeah. just to summarize again, being powerful means you being you and sharing your experience, your own methodologies, your own skills, your own stories, your own quotes. Right. Yeah. Like every morning, I wake, you know, often I wake up in the morning, I think like, oh, that is code worthy. Or I say something to my clients and say, wow, where did that come from? I write it down. It becomes another quote, right? Yes. I love to use my own quotes when I speak yes. as well. Yeah. So I think it, it makes that that's got so, Yeah. It's got much more power when it's your own from you. Yes. The energy comes out with it because it's so heartfelt. It makes such a difference. Yes. But, yes. So if we've got ideas, if we've got things that we want to promote um, to do with our businesses and things like that, how can we actually use public speaking well so that we can promote our ideas and our businesses and so we can really maximize the impact? Because it's great to have the idea of speaking, but there must be ways that is actually going to be more effective, um, yeah. you know, and the right thing. So what would you advise on that? Yeah, we could probably speak for weeks about this, but I try to be sure to give you just a couple of golden nuggets that you can apply right away, okay? Yeah. So I see a lot of uh, people out there speaking, right? And then I ask them, so do you get the results from speaking that you want? And specifically, if it's entrepreneurs, I ask them, do you attract clients with your speaking? Yeah. And some say yes, and some say no. It always touches my heart when people are out there and they give their all and they open their heart and they put a lot of time, effort, money into speaking and they're not getting anything back. Mm -hmm. I always say use your speaking, you know, in three different ways. First of all, so that you achieve the results you want to have, yeah. so that you support your business or your career with your speaking, yeah. and so that you give the greatest value to your audience. Mm -hmm. And it always starts with whenever you speak, ask yourself these three, these three questions, like what is my intention? Why do I want to speak for myself? Yeah. Like maybe you say, I just love to be on stage. It just spices me up. It gives me great energy and I just love speaking. You know, or you say, no, I, I also want to boost my reputation or I want to connect with amazing people. Also, second, like, second, like why do you want to speak for your business? I want to attract clients. Yeah. I want to grow my visibility. I want to, you know, in this market stand out or something else, right? And then why do you want it for your audience? Because I want them to know about this. Yes. Or I want them to feel like this. Or I want them to see that this and this is really possible. And I want to give them a way of how to make it happen. So this is always like, I always say, start with intention. Yes. That is often missing. Yeah. When I see speakers, I say, what was your intention? What was your major message? Some speakers can't, cannot even answer that. 
Okay, so it starts with intention, that's one hint. So the second thing is also when you speak, don't just speak, okay? Ask yourself, how can I use this speaking opportunity to grow my network? Yeah. Okay. I have met so many amazing people as I was out there speaking that opened me doors to communities I didn't even know existed. Okay. It opened me more stage time opportunities to get me, you know, become a member in really exclusive communities. Yes. Right. And so on. So again, you know, be clear on your intention. You speaking to grow to grow your network, meet yes. amazing people. Then also, um, you speaking to open up even more speaking opportunities. Yeah. Make sure that whenever you speak, you get a de- additional invites to speak, and that is how a lot of people get paid to speak and build a bridge from free to paid speaking. Yeah. They're out there speaking, and they they share with the audience that they are actually a speaker. And they mesmerize and, and all, all the audience, right? But at the same time, they tell the audience that, that they are paid speakers in a certain way so that people from the audience come forward and say, would you also like to speak in my yes. community or in my business? So make sure that whenever you speak, you get more speaking opportunities. Yeah. And then also use speaking to grow your business. Yeah. Okay. I always say speaking is amazing. Speaking is a great marketing tool. And it can, if you're paid directly as a speaker, which I am, uh, it can also be an additional income stream, right? But, uh, you know, also you can get paid indirectly with your speaking. You can attract clients. You can, uh, you know, you, you might have a topic you speak about, and then you turn a topic into a course or a program, Yes. So you use your speaking then to let the, let your ideal audience and, and ideal clients know that after you step off stage, they can continue working with you. Yeah. Because I always believe speaking inspires, yes. but it doesn't transform. Inspiration dies fast, unfortunately, right? And we've been all at events where we come out and we say, oh, my God, tomorrow I do everything differently. Yeah. And a week later, we are a week later, we are in our old world and we've almost all forgotten about it, right? Yeah. yeah. So meaning that we as speakers have not only the opportunity, we also have the responsibility to then after we've inspired our audience, after we shared with them what's possible, to take them by the hand and guide them step by step by step to where they want to be. Yeah. So this is why uh, when we speak, we show people that how can they use speaking to grow their business? But then we really take them by the hand afterwards and we guide them step by step by step on how to go professional with their speaking, how to use speaking to grow their business. And we help them. And that is actually the slogan of our business, our business called Hot Power Business. Yeah. Our slogan is speak up, scale up, impact the world. Yeah. Because it's all about us using the power of our voice to, to grow yes. ourselves, to grow, to you know, and then also to grow our business. And then also to scale up, let's build our businesses in a scalable way. Let's not just sell our time, right? So so build products to guide people from where they are to where they want to be. And then we can make a bigger impact. That is what we love also, that when people inspire others through their speaking, and then they take them by the hand, right, in a scalable way. So they are not only working with one or 10 clients, but they can work with hundreds or thousands or more at the same time. That is when they re- really make a bigger impact. Yeah. And that is when they're not just building a business, they're building a legacy. Yes. It lives beyond them. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. But and, and, and maybe one more thing, Anna. Uh, we have also crafted, I'm happy to share that with everyone if that's okay. Um, we have crafted a speak to scale map. Yeah. So I, you know, I consolidated my 50 best ways of how do you use your speaking to grow your business? Yeah in a compact like four page checklist that people can use with concrete yeah. and tips of how you use your speaking to also grow and scale your business. And that sounds great. That sounds really and I'm happy to share the link so everyone can download yes. it from here. Yeah, that yeah. would be brilliant because yeah. I'm thinking it, with what you're talking about um, and how we can speak, you know, to increase our network, our business, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's also difficult to know how to start forget the nerves but just knowing where do you go how do you get invited to be a speaker do you offer your services and hope they say yes how do you find the venues you know from starting at 
a complete beginner to ending up in TED or TEDx or Chamber of Commerce or something like that, it's not obvious how you can get to all these different levels. So is that something that you include in your tips? Well, okay. So we, as I said, we also have a journey. We call it a professional speakers launch journey where we take yeah. people by the hand and get going yeah. and build a solid foundation for their speaking, right? Yeah. And that is actually an eight-week course that we offer. And then, again, we help people get clear on their message. We help them actually get clear on who's the best audience, yeah. what is the best stage, where could I go and speak, how do I get booked there, how yes. do I approach an event organizer with confidence when I might not even feel that confidence yet because yeah. I'm starting out. So we give people a script of what to say and what to ask, how to increase their chance to get booked, how to position themselves as a speaker, how to boost their visibility as a speaker, and eventually how to build a bridge from free to paid speaking, right? Yeah. But so, so that is something we offer, and then we take people on a year-long journey to really help them implement it step yeah. by step, okay? But a couple of concrete hints and tips right now. If you're really starting out and you haven't been booked to speak, you know, again, there's two ways of speaking. One is creating your own events yeah. or speaking at other people's events. Yeah. So speaking at other people's events is much easier when you're just starting out, right? Because if you're not known yet and filling a room might not be very easy, uh, having people come to your events when you're not known yet, right? Yes. So I always said at the beginning, start finding stages where you can speak, right? I mean, Anna, you're running right now an amazing, inspiring podcast here, right? An interview series, right? Yep. And there's so and, and I run my own and there's so many other people there that run podcasts and interview series. And guess what? They are always looking for inspiring guests. Yeah, exactly. And here comes my encouragement. You do not need to be a seasoned speaker to get booked there. You need to have a topic yes. that is interesting for the audience of these podcasters yes. or of these event organizers. Yeah. Because we are not booked to speak and we are not paid to speak because we are great speakers. We are booked and paid to speak because we have a message that can change someone's life or can bring a business to a different level or make someone more successful as a salesperson yeah. or become more healthy or whatever else, right? So you do not need to be a seasoned speaker to get booked. You just need to understand what you need to do to get booked. And for that, you can either join one of our programs or, you know, it's just start out. And how do you start out? First of all, you start finding out which kind of podcasts would I like to look at? Uh, would I like to speak, right? So there are actually, you know, you can either Google them or there are also platforms like on, on Facebook, right? If you enter like podcast, uh, you, you probably find communities where podcasters and pod, podcast guests can actually connect with each other, yes. right? And then also, here's the very first thing. Look into the mirror and say, I have a powerful message to share, yeah. and I want to share that with the world. I am a speaker. Yes. Okay? Start appreciating inside that you have the potential to be an amazing speaker. And just come from your heart and want to share what you have inside and what you learned, want to share it with others. And then again, just tell people around you and say, hey, I am a speaker and I'm looking for speaking opportunities on that and that topic. Yeah. What event have you been to or have you heard of where I could possibly speak? Yeah. Or do you even know the event organizer that you could introduce us, yeah. right? I mean, the first speaking opportunities, honestly, even more prestigious ones came through my network. Yes, because I told people that I am a speaker and I speak on these topics and I'm open and looking for stage time opportunities. Yeah, that is how it opened up. Yeah, and then again, when I got booked in the early days, I was just doing my best on stage and I got booked again and again and again. And from every stage time opportunity came two or three more really all over the world, brilliant. and that's how I got going. That's brilliant. Yeah. Using your network and then expanding and expanding. I think that's a great idea. Money. Exactly. It's been all the information. You've got so much information into this interview to help people. It's wonderful. I'm impressed by that as well. So well done. Um, can I just ask you any final piece of wisdom or key strategy that you think we should keep in mind to help us going forward? 
You know, again, um, it just comes back to what I already said. First of all, start with having an intention of wanting to share what you know a bit about in a bigger way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's another thing. Don't fall into the trap of asking the how question too early. Yes. Just have the intention and find someone that can help you, guide you, take you by the hand, make it happen. Yeah. That makes it faster. You avoid all the mistakes people have made as they figured it out. As you know, I mean, I made many mistakes at the beginning, right? Yeah. So, and then really, you know, again, first start with intention. Yeah. Start asking around, looking around. Where could I speak? Yes. You know, ask people in your network. You know, think about. Do you know other speakers? Yeah. Ask them. How did they get started? Yeah. And then also, you know, I mean, I'm open to have a conversation, right? So just get in touch, right? Is it okay? I know that for me just to... Definitely, I was know. going to ask you, yeah. how can people get okay. in touch with you? What, what's the best way? I'm a little bit proactive. <laughs> Looking, <laughs> no, you know, best thing yes. to be. Okay, so, um, yeah, so you can actually get in touch on uh, on LinkedIn. Just look in, look for my name, Monique Bloxill. Um, you can also, um, you know, so LinkedIn, just send me a direct message on LinkedIn. I'm happy to have a quick chat and see if our approach because launch journey is the right one for you. If not, in any case, I can give you a couple of additional hints or tips and send you into the right direction to launch your speaking. If you're already a seasoned speaker, again, we can get you go international or help you to get paid more or, you know, speak internationally if you've been mostly speaking locally. That is something we're happy to help with. So also you can look at hard powered business, yep. right? So you can look at moniqueblockstill.com, our website. You can you know, can look up hard our powered business on you know on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram, right, and other platforms. Yes. Um, and you know, again, you know, we also have a community. It's called the Hard Powered Global Nation, where we you know we we have speakers and and. Uh, entrepreneurs and business leaders and change makers to exchange yeah. and support each other we are sharing regular hints and tips we are also running events there where you get inspired you can connect with other speakers and entrepreneurs that and join us on that one so that one sits right now on facebook hot power global nation join us there but in any case let's get in touch directly i really look forward to hear what your intention is with your speaking and your business that's brilliant monique thank you so much i'll put all the links for that on the bottom of the page Everybody, really don't hesitate. Connect with Monique. Ask her the questions. She genuinely means it. She's very happy to help you. So feel free. Do as much as you can. Um, Monique, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you so much for all your advice, all your strategies. Thank you for having me, Anna. And I, I'm a big fan of your podcast series. I mean, it's amazing. And I feel like honored, you know, now to be part of the Hall of Fame, right, of your, of your speaker <laughs> series. Um, and uh, thank you for inviting me. And thank you all, as I said, just wherever you are, just speak up, scale up, impact the world in your own magical way. You can Brilliant. do it. Everybody, see you again soon. Have a lovely week. Take care and enjoy the weekend. <laughs>